Hey, what is up everybody? How we doing? Matt Modi here with Odds Jam. And in this video, just giving you some bets to lock in for Sunday night football tonight. We got a pretty good game tonight, Chiefs versus Chargers. Chargers, I will admit I was not expecting this. Get both, or presumably I should say, get both of their receivers back today, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I thought they would both miss. They both seem to be in. Huge deal for Justin Herbert, huge deal for the Chargers. For those of you who are fantasy or DFS players, that definitely ups my confidence in Justin Herbert. I wasn't going to touch him prior to that. I now like him, but this is not a DFS or fantasy corner. This is sports betting. So let's lock in some bets for the game tonight. And the one that I wanted to lock in here that I really like, Sky Moore over 15 and a half receiving yards. So this play is at minus 110 at bet 365. The odds jam, no big odds, price this at about minus 116. So the gap, <clears throat> excuse me, the gap between those two numbers is where you get your positive expected value from. About six cents of juice different between the two numbers, which is pretty good. All in all, equates to a profit margin of about 2.6, 2.5%, roughly a three quarter unit size on this one so for me that's <clears throat> excuse me that's 75 bucks but for those of you at home who would like to round up or down to either a full unit or half a unit i would recommend putting just a half unit on this one to me it's not worth the full unit mcslam but let's chat about it so these no fig odds calculated from the sharpest sports books in the world odds jam pulled lines from the sharpest sports books in the world by pull by or i should say the way they determined that was from just back testing previous betting opportunities. So looking at millions of data points to determine historically what sports books do the best job at pricing odds and then use those sports books to set the market moving forward. So these numbers and the Novig odds, everywhere you see using Odds Jam, the Novig odds can be viewed as the quote unquote true line of what sport, a sports a market, I should say, of what a market should truly be priced at. So when you're sports betting, beating these numbers is incredibly important. In this case, obviously, minus 116 to minus 110, positive expected value. Another thing I like to do when sports betting, specifically with like, so if I'm betting a main line, like a total or a spread or a player prop that has decently high numbers, like receiving yards, rushing yards, player passing yards. For NBA, it's like points, points, rebounds, assists, stuff like that. There's two things I like to do. Number one, and this is true for everything. Look at where every market prices the bet that you are placing. In this case, the over 15 and a half. But if you view the event page in a new tab, it pulls up odds from what every sports book is pricing this market to be at. Um, not only the individual play itself, the over 15 and a half, but the, um, the receiving yardage total in general. And as we can see, a couple of sports books price it at 16 and a half. FanDuel. Uh, looks like Underdog Fantasy is so a DFS site, um, and Foxbet, which is this one right here, all priced us at 16 and a half, higher than the 15 and a half number than what we got it at. And then we see the sports books that do, <laughs> excuse me, that do price it at 15 and a half. They all, except for Caesars, favor this going over. BetMGM and PointsBet, they have the over at minus 120, the under at minus 110, favoring the over. DraftKings, and that's very important. DraftKings is a sharp sports book, or I guess it's considered sharp specifically when, placing, when pricing player props. DraftKings does a really good job with player props. I don't know if they use their DFS data or, or what, but they do a good job with player props. So this minus 140 uh, is a really good sign considering we got it at, we got the at bet 365 at minus 110. And then this column right here, you can't see this book. Um, this column right here is bet online, another sharp sports book. You can also see it right here. Price is this at minus 125, the over at minus 103, heavily favoring it going over. So it's minus 110 at bet 365, pretty good line. Now Sky Moore, rookie receiver for the Chiefs, has been hit or miss, right? He's kind of been phased out of the offense, but the Chiefs are gonna be missing a bunch of receivers in this game, Juju Smith-Schuster, they're missing Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and they're missing Nicole Hardman. So yeah, maybe could maybe Kadarius Tony gets some more run. Maybe it's Sky Moore. They're going to need to pass the ball. They do have Patrick Mahomes. So Sky Moore, he could take a little pitch, 16 yards, hit this over for you. It's risky, but it's such a low number that I, I think it's good. I think it makes sense. And obviously the math 
is the most important part. So that's going to be it for my player prop to lock in for Sunday night football tonight. If you're tailing it, comment and let me know. I would love to hear it. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. So appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.